Hey, I'm Mo, and I am super excited to have Sarah Allen from Spark to here with us today. Um, Sarah's going to talk to us a little about about an organization that she works with with college students around the topic of sustainability. So, hey, Sarah, how's it going? Great, thanks. Um, can you just kind of give me like an overview of what Spark is and like how it started? Sure. So, Spark stands for Sustainable Philadelphia Alliance of Regional Campuses. We mostly stick with Spark, <laughs> um, and it was started about a year ago, around January of 2014, when uh, students from several schools around Philly uh, started getting the idea that it would be great to have a network to connect us with each other, uh, a more formal method of sharing resources, um, but we didn't really have a way of doing that yet. So we started an email chain and gradually added more students from different schools on it, uh, started having meetings. Uh, pretty informally last spring and then over the summer worked on a governance structure and now uh, we're ready to go. <laughs> wow so that's a, a, like a huge amount of effort and like this last year you've really kind of like formalized everything and got gotten like a good strong kind of like mission behind it. Uh, how did you how did you get in touch with uh, other colleges? Yeah so I think the first email chain we started was with Nicole Krodiker, who was a student at Drexel. She's a huge networker. She just was all over the place, sort of yes. in Philly. <laughs> she is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and um, she's just sort of one of those people who has a ton of connections. And mm -hmm. as soon as I got connected with her and we both realized that we were interested in uh, setting this type of network up, we just added more and more people to the email chain. And you know, there had been smaller groups of people gathering, like a student at Penn would meet with a student at Temple who had done a project and they wanted to share resources, but there was just no formal method of doing that. So um, as soon as we talked to certain students, everybody was just really excited about the project. Yeah, I, I imagine. I love this kind of idea of having it be like a network of colleges and not just kind of like in different universities and silos across the city. It's, it's very, very useful. Um, do you ever partner with organizations that are like, like not college-based? Yeah, definitely. That's one of the goals of Spark. So firstly, we want to connect college students with each other uh, from the Philly area. And secondly, we also want to connect college students with professionals in the Philadelphia area mm -hmm. and also with nonprofits and companies um, to see how much they can get out of it. So potentially students could be working for these companies, interning, um, and then getting resources and learning a lot from professionals in the city as well. So uh, we've been, we're about to work with Sustainable Business Network, obviously with Generosity, uh, with the uh, City Coho Philly Nexus as well, mm -hmm. and they've been great partners so far. Cool. Uh, so, like, have you been to all of the kind of like kind of get-togethers and everything? Like, is is there anything that has like been really inspiring for you? I think. Um just every time we meet with students from other campuses, I just get this jolt of energy. Um, sometimes I think students get stuck in their bubble on their campus, and uh, that can be discouraging, or you can run out of inspiration or ideas or creativity or resources. And so just meeting with other students who are passionate and can describe projects that they've worked on successfully is really inspiring. Can you tell me a little bit about like a project that you've heard of that you thought was cool? I'm I'm just I'm so <laughs> excited about kind of like this kind of like younger millennial age movement. Yeah, so. sure. So uh, we had our first uh, working group meeting last night, and uh, we divided into three different topics. We had food, energy, and waste minimization. Um, and those three topics were discussing projects that students in the groups had worked on with some professional. Uh, expertise as well for from uh, people who were there from the community and uh, one of the things we were talking about is that Penn hosts uh, Penn Food Week every year um, but how awesome would it be if that was like a Philly University Food Week and yeah. each campus was hosting an event uh, each night um, so that's hopefully a project we'll be working on this spring. Oh, I love that <laughs> I love just like kind of the expansiveness of that and getting all different kinds of perspectives in there. Uh, so do you guys have goals for 2015 specifically? Um, so we're still really in the beginning stages. Our goals are definitely to increase our reach and awareness in the Philly community. And I think we're doing that by increasing our newsletter subscriptions, working with more partners, uh, starting to host our working group events. We're partnering with the Green Allies Conference as well. And um, I think word of mouth is really going to be a big carrier for this. So uh, we have some goals in terms of newsletter subscription, social media followers, and um, just getting in-person meetings going as well. So uh, how would people get involved? Like, I mean, I know you talked about the email, the newsletter, and that kind of thing. 
Um, do you just, you're looking for people to get involved in the working group? Are there any th other things you want to do? Yeah, so um, the working groups are a big project right now. And one aspect of that is we're doing a call for resources. So we're trying to get people to submit content that they have, any types of resources on projects they've done in the past, or even just contact information, um, or websites that they've find hel found helpful in the past. Uh, and they can do that through our website. Um, and then obviously coming to the events. We want to have an online bank and we want to um, read that as well, but I think the in-person events are really key too. So um, signing up for the newsletter, coming to events, and just um, following what's going on in Philly. Oh, awesome. Cool. Well, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us. Uh, we definitely are going to be sharing information about how to get all, all, everything that you just said about how to get involved. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate like what you're doing. I love having kind of college students really driving the agenda of sustainability in the city. Thanks so much. We're excited to be doing it. And uh, I see some, some cool things coming up for both uh, Spark and Generosity. So, hey, Thanks. Thanks.